there are old friends and new friends, some are silver and some are gold. You know that round? It's been around a long time. Lynn is one of those old friends uh, from a long time. So I want to sing to her. Hello, old man, come join our song. We're glad you're here now. Come play along. I'm going to invite you to play. Uh, so go ahead and pick up your instrument. If you don't have, and it's not, not the little red bell, uh, if you don't have an instrument, get one from next door. There's all, there's one in all, okay? And boys and girls, don't play your instrument yet, okay? I'm gonna, I'll let you know when I'm going to do this, if you can play, and Jamie's going to be playing with us too. Um, and I'm going to tell you something about putting instruments on the on the chairs. I can tell it's 8 o'clock in the morning, and um, you all are not quite as curious as some of the children are. You know, 5.30 on this afternoon, uh, many of them would have had this instrument up, playing it as as loud as they want to. Okay, and so here's the deal. If you put instruments like this on your chair, it's really an invitation that, they, that it's all right for them to play it. But, if you, you know, just depending, if you need to, like I certainly needed to do that before this morning, then you decide in yourself, it's okay that they do that. Don't, don't start busting out because they're playing their instrument. You, you see what I'm saying? That, that's the thing because you talk with your actions a lot more than with your words sometimes. So, uh, let's, let's uh, just sing this with me just to get our voices warmed up. And, you know, go ahead and, and look like a singer and get in your correct singing posture. And so you're going to back away from the chair, and there's just a little ostinato that says, We're glad you're here, we're glad you'll see, we're glad you're here, we're glad you're here, we're glad you're here, we're glad you're here. And yesterday in worship, we got, we got an exercise like this, when you sing this and you sing that, and sing with me. Hello, hello. And I'm going to check here because we, Jake's going to start playing here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Sing that with me. If anybody's having trouble with that, put it in your hands. Hello. Hello. Do it. Hello. Hello. And when I do this, you stop. Um, I hear and I forget. I see. I remember, I do, and I understand. This is all about children. This is all. This is all about adults <laughs> and adult choir. And um, so, when you put that into your hand and you felt a half note, I certainly was not going to explain a half a round white note with the same But you did it, and that's where first, second, third graders are. They must. That's where preschools are as well. They must do it too. So, would you all, would you all uh, get some breath under that and, and put it on your body? Hello, hello. I'll make a little hat so I've wanted to do that at first. I've wanted to say, hello, Crystal. We're glad. 
glad you're here. That just makes a little bit more sense to me. So when I do this with my boys and girls, I just say, change, 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 But we're going to do it like you said, don't here. Please forgive me. Uh, hello, Chris. Uh, Crystal, where's your hand? All right. And where's Mark sitting? First and second row. And where's Lynn sitting? First and second row. Pardon? First row. And another Lynn who's just brightened my day with her smile this morning. All right. So we'll sing that. Uh, hello and hi One, two. Uh, come join us song. One, two. Ready, go. Hello. If you don't have one, if you chair, lift your hand and I will get Do you have an instrument other than your bell? Okay, Kathy, it's your job. What is your job? I thought it was fun. Kathy, let's see. Let's see. Who else needs an instrument? Who didn't have one? Later. 
um, to do some classes on introducing the growing of grace. But throughout the day, we'll be doing a few of their songs, not all from there, but you will uh, get to learn more about that as we go. Now, let's be <clears throat> Psalm 100. Um, I'm just so tempted to do this, though. Um, uh, you don't have to take everything out of hand. And please, do, please put your instrument underneath your chair now. Thank you, boys and girls. <laughs> Thank you so much for not saying the instrument when I was talking. Um, I'm really looking into it. You have only two rules about instruments. Only two rules about instruments. One is instruments never play when someone plays. And the other is when the instrument, if the instrument, but yeah, that's more positive. If the instrument is machine, it goes away. Okay, I'm from some of that old school stuff where I don't have to attack Allison <laughs> and embarrass her about all that. I will lay the ground rules. She just uses the instrument and say, like, uh-oh, it's got to go. And most of the time it's with a you know, wonderful drum, something like that. And you're going to, do you have one, two or three of those boys, I was going to say, maybe a girl, uh, two, who are doing the very, breaking those rules? From the of course you do. We all do. So you got to decide how long the instrument's going to be gone. you got to take it into consideration. It might be gone, gone longer for Julie because she just, you know, she can't say to grasp this yet. Yes. I would never give up on you. That the official would be there and that you wouldn't break the rules. So that's two rules about this that I think work. So we gotta do this because I need it. And it just sounds like this. And I'm gonna give you this too, so you don't have to be trying to write Hi there, brain, please wake up now. Wake up now. And go ahead with the cane wake. Wake up now. Hi there, brain, please wake up now. Wake up now. Hey, anybody done this before? Okay, here go. You ready? Just do it with me. What's the word? Hi there, brain, please wake up now. Do we need this this morning? Mm -hmm. I do, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Hi there, brain, please wake up now. Wake up now. Make a joyful noise. Take it with me in any, any part of it. 
about it, but you know, and if you don't know it, you are an okay person. <laughs> you aren't. All right, here we go. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye what? That the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures for all generations. All right. See there? You're saying some other The NIV or the word. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, what more could unite us this morning? What more so than hearing your word and speaking your word and loving your word? Because this is the one of the ways that you reveal yourself to us. And we're just so thankful to be your children. We're so thankful that you give the command in many places, come into my presence with singing. And I just pray that today we'll recall that and we'll do it joyfully each time we have an opportunity to do it. Thank you so much for allowing us to be together today, um, brought together truly in your love and what you did for us. And we pray in your holy name. Okay, I didn't introduce myself. You guys think you did? Y'all are so good. Oh my goodness. I love it. Yep. Stand them up and leave. You know what I'm saying, Tony? Did, did I have to get your music out? Was it without you? <laughs> okay. Um, all right, now. Oh, here we go. I, um, well, right after that, I, I want you to hear this little melody. Next, we're we'll getting ready to do for the Lord's Good. Okay? And uh, throughout this day, and I realized that I'm not going to have the same group every, every place period. And this may be the only time you're going to be here with me. I'm just so glad you're here this time. But throughout this day, we're going to learn this song that comes out of Psalm 100. And it comes from the, the uh, uh, last verse in the song. And by the way, when you teach your children to memorize scripture, and I hope you do memorize something in the choir here that is very related to uh, what you're seeing. You know that when you tell them you're from Psalm 1, it's one psalm. You're not quoting, I mean 100, you're not quoting Psalms 100. You're we're quoting one psalm in the psalm book. Psalm 100. That's just a little aside, but we might as well do it in a way that they can learn so that they don't have to unlearn. Oh, it just pains me of all the things children learn that they have to unlearn. Let's do it right the first time. Okay, let's do it, do it. Okay, so here's the way this, we're going to sing, we're going to learn one melody. This has three melodies, and eventually, at some point, I don't know, if you're first, second, third grade, this would just be something you will know, but you, this, this is really a partner song. This partner songs are the easiest harmony. Now, in a minute, you're going to hear me say something about unison, singing unison and harmony, okay, for first, second, third grade, and what is very, very important for them in this period of time. But I'm just saying, this, has the, this is a partner song, so you may want to do it with your youth choir, or if you have one, adult choir, Whatever. And here, I'm, I'll just sing it for you. Am I going to give you a copy of it? What do you think? Yes. yes. I think. Okay. I've gotten permission to give you a copy. I guarantee you, when you see this music, anytime today, with a copyright line, I have permission. I don't steal from composers, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> I've been written for like ways. I'm not in the piano area, am I right? Uh, and um, so here's how it sounds. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to start. Here, here's all you're going to have to remember. Listen to it. I'm going to put it on my body because um, you'll remember. Okay, here we go. Uh, James. And you can go ahead and do the accompaniment. And, and so they'll just hear all that part. A lot of children, the harmonics of accompaniment help. For many children, they need to hear the melody only. Got to do both. You got to do both. Here we go. Ready?
don't you learn that in this room you've got to be on the ball? Those words are in this room. And I want somebody from this side to go up to the board and put and show where Lord, what goes with Lord and so forth. Who, who wants to do that? I, I'm sorry, all of you can. All of you, I, it's, uh, just one. <laughs> who wants to do it? What's your name? Trina. Trina? Uh huh. I love your smile. Would you go up there? And oh. Trina, you have permission to act, to get, what do they say on the TV shows? You can get help oh, with the audience. Uh, this is your group. Phone this in. is your group. Phone in. Phone in. Okay, this is your group. If you need help. Okay, <laughs> who wants to do it over here? Who's just dying to go up there and pick up the talk and, and do it real quick? Come on, so we can see it first time. You yeah. have, you have oh. a, uh oh, uh oh, are you okay? Yes. I, I recognize exactly what you did. <laughs> exactly. And this is your group over here. Okay. Now, you know what? Did y'all ever see me? That was, I probably, I should have had you to sing it because they do think, okay? But, they, let's see if they're going to sing. What goes with Lord? Well, the Lord is what? Good. Good. Okay, roll out. Roll out some more. There you go. You go ahead. Try to do it on your own. Oh, just, yeah. Try to, try to do it. What goes with Lord? Good. Good. Go ahead. Sometimes that's, exa that's exactly what a child will do. He'll do the pill or she will do the one they know. Love endures. Love endures. Okay. Okay. And then faithfulness. Okay, y'all stay right there because you and Nan, you're going to have us have to rate the song. I mean, not conduct, but you're going to be sitting, you're going to be the, uh, let's see, the uh, praise team. Okay? I, I want you to know, we're starting with a song. This is important to me. This is one of my passions. We must teach about and we must help children experience the God whom we love and praise. We are doing a mammoth job of teaching our children to praise a God. They don't know. Think about it. We've got every praise song at your picking tips that you want. Thank God to know who He is in His spirit. So here's, uh, oh, let's see if anybody remembers the pitch. <laughs>
I encourage you to sit up tall today, and it would be for the children. If the seat position is your feet on the floor, well, give me a good picture. And some of you may not see this. See this in the up a little bit. How many of you use a chart uh, presentation board like this in the choir room? Not very expensive, but they're great to sit on the table, on the floor in a small group, and whatever. And uh, I use it more for putting um, phrases of songs on there than anything when we're doing some reading, but, but I use it for different things. Okay, so posture, uh, the senior position is what I've already described. I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing that we do. Somebody talked to me a ago in a workshop, and that is when I say zero and snap my finger, they're going to be in a, where you've been this morning, in a relaxed position, but not in a theater position. Give me my hot mm -hmm. Okay, that's a theater position, and we're rarely in theater position in our choir room. But this would be zero. This would be, I say one. It is coming forward in my chair. Right here, my hands are resting. That's one. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting tall. I'm sitting from the waist up. Standing from the waist up. All right. And then one and a half would be I'm here, but I have music in my hand. That's one and a half. Okay. And I go back to zero. I say zero. But then if I say two, and you know your feet position, I you know you can teach them one foot a little bit in front of that or whatever. Keep your knees soft and that kind of thing. Yeah, that don't mean a lot, but just, I mean, getting it to stand tall is, is, is a lot for first, second, third grade. Doing that, uh, chest is held high, and we'll see that that has everything to do with breathing, where the chest ends up, all right? And uh, so that, that would be two, and two and a half would be this. What's the difference between two and two and a half? What? You got me to keep Okay, so you got it? All right, get it zero. All right, two. Zero. One and a half. Zero. Got it? All right. You can use that. You can also use the word that's been around a long time, boost off. Anybody know what that means? B U S F O F. Back up straight, feet on the floor. Say it loud. Uh, uh, back up Plotted. straight, feet on the floor. You got it. Back up straight, feet on the floor. Uh, and the word, it comes out, boost off. And you, you can make, and they love crazy words. They love crazy words. So, that's a good one. Make your little sign. Okay, now, I said number two is breathing. Uh, you'll never teach enough about breathing. The experts say that we use maybe 60% capacity of air in our lungs. Everybody, adults, whatever for that. So there's so much oxygen there that needs to go to all the cells of our body that we're not taking in. So with the, with the first, second, third graders, you, you just need reminders that their body instrument, has got, the back has got to be up straight. Uh, I, uh, how about, do stand up just a minute. Just keep your things in hand. Don't just stand up. Just stand up. Just stand up. But um, I want you to shrug your shoulders back three times, and the last time, I want you to let them stay, stay exactly where they are. Are you ready to go? One. Let them fall. Two, three. All right. Feel how comfortable you are. Think about where your chest is. Your chest is high. Where are your shoulders? Very, very relaxed. And if they weren't, let them fall down. I understand it, but most children think that their lungs are. There's a human x-ray machine over there. They think their lungs are sitting right up here. <laughs> and so when you tell them to stand tall and get ready to breathe to please you, they're going to go, <laughs> and that's the worst thing they do. They're tightening up all these muscles up here. Okay, you see? So with breathing, this is the most expensive thing that you can buy for breathing. And I, the only place I can tell you right now that I know to buy it is probably online, and it's called a Sphere. Um, I'm sorry. Omnisphere. Omnisphere or, or uh, Holbert. Hol that, that's the box, what the box is. H-O-L-B-E-R-T. Holberman. Holberman. H-O-B-E-R-M-A-N, if you want to write that down. The children love this. Do they play with this at early rise? No. It's not a toy. It's expensive. I would 
will let them do this. You know, and of course, what's this all about? All right, through your nose, fill up your belt with air. Let it out. Now, when you fill up your belt with air, this expands. Mine expands for that reason. But <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, but all of this, all of this, fill up your belt with air. How many times have I said that this morning now? Through your nose. Why? Because when you breathe through your nose, it warms up the air. And starts working for you better in there. So you gotta do several things about the breathing. That's one. These are some of the cheapest things, but they're one-time users. Okay? Party favors. And have a little contest to see who can keep that I hear it the longest. Okay? So that's another thing about breathing. And I think that's it about breathing. So in oh, here's what I want to tell you. In this book, which I see them up in the front lobby where the coffee is, which I'm yet to see. And I haven't had a Dr. Pepper flow. I mean, what was all this stuff about all this drinking? <laughs> we were busy. We were busy yesterday. You and I didn't get Dr. Pepper flow. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, in this book, though, which is up there, is one of my favorite breathing songs. If you don't have this book, Sing Together Children, um, you've got a song about. You know what? Wait, 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 before you write it down. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. This has sure the one about Noah. Oh, the oh, whole once he built an ark that one night. It's in there. Drive it across. You know what? I think it's in here, but I don't have it marked. I, I, I'm sure it's in here because I'm just seeing how it looks. Mm -hmm. I got some other mark. Okay, but there's one in here, and what you do, yeah. You add, you add rivers until you're up to like, oh no, once you built a knife, it's one more, two more, three more, four more, five more, six more, seven more, eight more, nine more, ten more, eleven more, twelve more, thirteen more, And I'm not doing it very well because I did not very consciously and intentionally take me a very deep breath. Deep breath is a, is a lot better for than deep breath. And what is your best analogy? When do they have to take their deepest breaths naturally? And they do it all the time when they do what? Lie down. Maybe, but there's another yawn. Swim. 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 And swim And if they're into diving, they know all about it. So start where they are. That's where they are, with the kind of deep breath they can take to use a little bit at a time. Okay, all right, number three is open mouth. That's number three. One is posture, two is breathing, number three is open mouth. Several things you can do for that. This is probably still my favorite. Little tennis ball, or this is not a tennis ball. Well, that tennis ball. Mm -hmm. But this one is very old. I've had one for years, but the children call Mr. Wilson because they had Wilson on the back of them, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, another thing, do this with me stand up two fingers in your mouth. Be truthful. Have you had your mouth open that wide this morning? Stand up three fingers. Anybody had their mouth open that wide? Let me tell you something. You spend all these months teaching them songs that you want to share, them to share at Christmas time. Unless you're really into just huge amplification, which I'm not. I mean, we certainly use my examples, I'm sure. It's all about breathing to support your tone and getting your mouth open. And then you, in the youth choir report and, and concert and everything from their tour last Wednesday night. I'm watching three children this day. And I'm saying, just watch this and you're a musician. And I'm saying, and I'm not talking. I was not talking any softer. But my teeth and my lips were almost closed. So guys, get them to get their mouths open. Okay? Alright? And um I pointed that because I have some of that on um, video. Maybe can use this. Okay, and number five that well, I want you to put on here is tell your face. What was number four? Oh, number four, eyes on director. Sorry. Eyes on director. Okay, for first, second, and third graders, this is what I would use. You can order these online. I bought nine years ago, but but this is a puppet that I, I use for fifth and sixth graders, but I would but and, and get away with it. I don't use lots of puppets for them. These are finger puppets. I'm sure you can get them from what's that place that sells everything? There you go. Buy that for a dollar or something like that. 
or don't try it. And I, I don't know what it's called. Um, with my four fifty sixth graders, I used this, which was brought to me one day with a big smiley faces by um, three of my sixth grade girls. <laughs> <laughs> And did even the boys laugh? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you did one for second or third. I don't know. But anyway, those are some things for keeping your eye on the director. Okay. Um, so, and number five is tell your face. Do you see those little smiley faces over here? Do you see them in three places in the room where it says tell your face? All right. This is part of looking like a singer. And you want to tell your face. And we've had lots of people this morning who've told your face. Do you realize what you were telling your face? What's in my heart? For the Lord is good, and his love goes on forever. It never stops. Tell your face. And teach them, I'm not telling you to don't be so greedy. You're going to get a lot of the E vowel. They're going to sound like green, 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 instead of boo, 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 boo. It's in their eyes. You can tell them to raise their cheekbone. That's not really possible, but you know, even just about that. Raise it. I do this sometimes. Raise your cheekbone. You know, okay. All right, we got to keep going. Number two is use songs with melodic support. All right. Uh, the come join. You heard my light support. Uh, for the Lord is good, you heard my light support. The first, second, third race, I'm telling you, it's very important. Now, there's a, there's a thing that's happening that you've got to be careful about. If you sing most of good recordings, if you sing only good recordings, you are lots of times singing without light support to children. And the first, second, third graders, you, it is not only <coughs> are they just missing that, it's detrimental to their listening skill development. They've got to hear that melody line at times. I have one song for this age group <coughs> that, that is an exception. It's by Joseph Martin. You know who that is? Mm -hmm. And uh, I love the song. It's a minor key and it's a Christmas song. It does not have melodic, it, it, but it's for first, second, third grade, and it is an exception. But there's some ways that, that you can learn that song and, and you're, they're going to be fine just it's because it's so well written. Okay, so they do need to, you need to sing on a company. Have we sung on a company this morning? Okay, that, that's that's all too. I, so all I'm just going to say about that. Number three, stay with most of unison singing. You've already heard me sing that. Now this is uh, um, this can be around. I wouldn't think of doing this in first semester. Now some of my some of my friends disagree with me. I don't do rounds with first, second, third grade in first semester. And rounds are hard. Rounds are hard. But there's this wonderful round with one word. You know what they'll tell you when you ask them? We're, we're all singing together. And I say, like, tell me more. Tell me more, yeah. We're all singing together, but be, be more specific. We all have the same sound. And many of them are not going to know that you don't have the same sound until you record them and play it back to them. Oh. Oh. Okay, practice lots of tonal center dough. Two things I want you to put under there is step bells and just be my echo. One, three, five, eight. One three five three one three five three one. One three five three one. If you have this in your room and if a child had played that and sung it with you, they would know it. They would have done it. This is one of my favorite instruments. Go home and look at the pianos in your church. Really, really good. Pick out the oldest one and, 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 and sell it. And uh, <laughs> if you don't have step step out. Uh, yesterday, one of the students here, Jacob told me yesterday what he's doing. I think it's Jacob's doing this. They've got an oven like that. And so people are going to pay to use a sledgehammer on it. A certain amount of money, and then they would use that money to buy <laughs> instruments or something. 
I love it, don't you? I mean, the fact nobody, it's, it's over somewhere in the youth rec room. And all that happens in it is the, you know, I mean, it's so out of tune. Nobody ever, ever, ever uses it. So, hey, use a sledgehammer now. You've got to be careful about that. I mean, this would be a dog. We're talking about my children. Okay. So, that's, that's what you say. Okay, this is called Step Bell Rhythm Band. It's on your resource page. Oh, no, I'm going to use this. Let me do this song before I do that. Um, Mark, I want you to start something. Oh, you got the resource page. That's why I can't find it up here. That gold, that gold is your resource page. And if I talk about things, I'm trying to, to I, I hope I've got it on the page. If I talk about something and I'm not telling you where you can get it, you tell me. Okay, I want you to, I want to teach you another song. So you, you can stay in zero for just a minute. But I want you to watch this because this is about Tony Center Dove. Tony Center Dove. And that's the reason that I have a scale up here. And some people say, you really need to have a scale in your room. It's really interesting. I've learned this from my children who are my piano students. We never played our instruments. Or did y'all play your instruments on? Oh, good. See? Hi there, brain. Please wake up now. Uh, major scale. And this happens to be in D major. And that's not the song we're going to do right now. But okay, this would be do. This is one. This is a tone center. This is tiny. Say any word you want to. Say it here and there. Don't drill on it. But just know the do. And when you play, if you've got a place that don't scale on your body, you know, the natural thing that most people are going to do is do, he, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You can teach choir 50 years and, and not use Kodai hand signs, okay? It's fine. Uh, but but it, it's priceless to, to place a melody on your body. I'm going to teach you a melody do. This is a do moves. Do is not always at your waist, and do is not always here. So you may use the body scale, and that, that's the hard thing. That, many have used the body scale very successfully. If you know what that means, do starts down here, and it goes, it ends here. All right? But you know what? You have a hard time with that if do is right here, which is where it is in this song. Because look at this. You are God. And yes, I'm going to give you chocolate. Lord, you are God, and I will praise you. Lord, you are God, and I will adore you. Lord, you are God, and I will exalt you. I'll sing songs of praise to you. Some people say, boring. Don't give up on me. This is my favorite chorus for children. And I've done it for years, and, you, and I had to work to get permission to give you a copy of it. So you can go home with a copy of the melody line, and it's easy to play with guitar or auto harp or whatever. So, let's see. Uh, because there's a lot of work, there's a punchline in this song. If you look at, look at the songs you're using, they don't have a punchline. Might not use it. Yeah, you sort of know, maybe know, even know the term, punchline. It's what? And here's the punchline in this one. For you have become our salvation. All right, now, remember what I said about the first song we did? It was about what? Was it about us praising God? Who was, what was it about, really? It was about God. Who God is. For the Lord is good. It's a, we talked about the attributes of God. All right, now here's your praise song that's coming with that and makes a lot of sense. And, I mean, you don't have to verbalize all of this all the time with the kids. Let's see, Mark. Let's get these going. And James, let's be singing that one more time for the Lord is good. When you get it, you can yes. turn it over. And all of this was supposed to be three whole bunch, but I don't know if I got that way. So, uh, Lord, you are God. And, and just sing with me as you can. But I want you to be hearing this. And he's going to pass this down and we'll have a copy of this as well as the other one we did. Uh, here, here's what it sounds like. Lord, you are God.
All right, so on your page you have in your hand, you have that uh, two songs that we've done. Now, if you come to any more of my classes, St. Mark's, if you come to any more classes today, anything that I give you like this, have it in your little packet because we'll be using um, the, uh, those other two things later on today. And, um, all right, uh, let me see, listen to their voices. Would everybody who has on black or navy shoes be my echo? Well, everybody who has on shoes that have ties on them, will you be my echo? One, three, five, eight, go. Oh, bless your heart, it can't. Are you about the only one? Now, you know what? I wouldn't have done that with children. I wouldn't have said, because with children, a lot of them. I have to do that. Velcro or ties, okay? Here's, and here's your sound. One, bit my time. One, three, five, one. One, three, five, one. You see what I'm doing? I'm going to get random people answering me so that we're, I'm hearing voices. I'm not the only one listening. The other work is in my choir listening. But the best way to hear their voices is to get in small groups from time to time. That's the only way you're really going to hear them and take notes so you can need help and then you can get them help as you do. Okay? Um, intentional work on finding the singing voice. Uh, the the Lifeway curriculum where I've worked for years, and you know what? I've been retired from Lifeway for eight years, but I'm not retired from life. <laughs> and, and today I'll be using music. Uh, so these, you'll see on there, where it's from Lifeway, and from Growing in Grace, which is a new Celebrating Grace curriculum. In those curriculum, and, and many times in Courses Skill, we've been doing some songs about the Courses Skill, and some other, a few others, uh, you'll note on your resource list. But um, you will have help for working with individuals. If you've never had a, well, a methods book, that's not a bad word at all. If you're in for training, if, you, if training is something that's important to you, you can learn methods and materials. This is a print on demand, and so I'm going to leave this book on the table all day. It has a number in the front. It's the kind of thing where I think for, I think, $10, you know, you can call that number, and they'll print you this book. Dr. Madden Bridges, who's at Belmont University, and Mary Delaney Alcott. And you think it's a pretty good book, Lynn? <laughs> Lynn and I were in class together in 1980 or somewhere back in there, and um, um, she probably, I, I don't know if we had that one. We had, okay, we had a, the one before. Okay, but lots of help, lots of help for knowing exactly what to do with children who are not singing on the pitch, who are not singing at all, who don't want to sing. We're singing in the basement. Mm -hmm. echo. We're singing in the basement. Mm -hmm. No, we never sing down here. We're singing on the first floor. Message gets out there. We're doing all this work to send messages that people can't understand. 
You put on a recording of children and you can't understand the words until you get a piece of a paper in your hand and look at them and know what they're saying. Ah, oh, don't you dare play that recording for your children. It's about the communication and the message that we have to give and all that work. And by the way, children can't give away something they don't own. Think about it. They can't give away a song they don't own. And we ask them to do that a lot. They'll never be telling their face. Because they don't. They, they haven't internalized it here. Now, is every child going to, in their heart, experience words the same way as every child? Of course not. Well, it depends on where they are with the, the Lord. That's how far we're going to come from our God. Okay, um, the team efforts, I was, uh, you listen to saying I've already mentioned, how we look as a group. You know, what's our highest side? That, then you can have some team goals. But Lynn's supposed to be all over me now telling me. Um, we're going to do this one thing. Uh, oh, do you see that little... I uh, pick up your little red jingle bell. And this is Christmas joy. And you know what? This is the one I said this by Joseph Martin. Big one, yes, please. Jack, please play it. Mark, would you get to the Doing it. 
At 2.30 today, we're talking about seating. Can children be quiet to under music? Yeah. I call it making sense of all the score. Okay, heard that before? <laughs> okay, I love this. Let's see. Uh, somebody has, uh, no, somebody who's done my hand call yet. Do you have your name tag turned over for reasons? She was just laughing and nothing. Oh, she's like, don't you dare come up here. <laughs> Heather, are you pretty good with CD? It's in like. Uh -huh. Are you willing to do this? Sure. If not, you can make Claudette do it. <laughs> Give your children an out. For goodness sake. Give them a partner when they need it or don't need it, okay? Because do you want them to come back? Yes or no? Are they going to come back if they're not comfortable in his room? Are they going to come back if they don't trust the teacher? No. The trust level relationship. So in a minute, cowbell. Great. You notice it doesn't have a clapper in there. Here's yours. Let's see. Do we hold it? I don't know. Whichever way you want to, Heather. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, get you got your instrument in hand. Thank you for not playing us. Thank you so great. Okay. Uh, here's what you're going to do. You were very quick. We're going to number off. Go to have a number. You are going to say that loud because a lot of children, if they say that number inside, they won't get it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. start with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one, one, one. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that perfect? <laughs> perfect class. <laughs> Woo! Okay, all right. You got your number? All right. Um, She's going to play eight beats. I can't tell you the value, how much I've learned the value of eight beats instead of just four. I'm always doing things in four. Mm. Eight beats is like a praise that they're singing. Oh, I don't have time for that. But here, here's what we're going to do. She's going to play eight beats. You, nobody's counting out loud. You're going to play your, play your instrument on your beat. Okay. One, two, ready, start. Anybody miss that term? <laughs> <laughs> it is great. Listening skill, listening skill. Here's your second chance. Ready? Go. Okay, it's wonderful too to have melodic sounds in there. It makes a really nice mix. All right, this time, uh, you're going to, these, all right, I'm not sure I'm saying this right, but I don't know if you're doing it right. All right, this time, every, everybody, you're going to play, it, not, all, the only people that are going to play are the number of the fingers that I hold up. Okay, let's just try that. One, two, ready, go. Is it, oh. <laughs> Whoa, got harder, didn't it? You know what, I think when I did this with my group, I well, here we go. All right, this time, not everybody, but these numbers. Go. Oh, I'm sorry, you need big feet. We don't need feet. Go. Okay, one more time. One, two, ready, start. Okay, nobody, nobody hears one? I don't hear one. One, two, instruments, play. Activity. It's a great one to use the instrument to base all of that with a skill. Thank you so much. That wasn't painful.